time for me to kick some ass, you know. BP Robes. Bag for the day has arrived, baby. What's up, boys and girls? Yo, you better change that shirt real quick. All right, guys. So for our first activity of the day on our recovery day, we're going to be doing some active recovery. I know it's very tempting to just want to lay there and do absolutely nothing all day. And I think it's scientifically proven it's better if you get some movement in, get a little sweat going, nothing too exhausting, but just you know get blood moving through body, have a nice flush out. So that's where we're headed right now. All right, guys. So we are outside of the cell gym owned by one of my teammates. She's a master's weightlifter and we're here to get our active recovery in. And she also happens to be a black belt. Tell us a little bit about your martial arts experience. Kaju Kembo is a mixed martial arts. Basically, kickboxing, takedowns, execute on the ground it's for the street. So I did that for about 18 years. Received my third degree black belt, then went into Muay Thai, did Muay Thai for a little bit, so. I'd say we're about the pretty same experience level. What are we going to be doing today? So we're gonna start with some warm up drills. We're gonna do some pad work. Then we'll mix it up a little bit. But nothing too crazy, cause you gotta go heavy on Saturday. Indeed. I gotta, I gotta smash some weights. Yes. Let's get it. It's a learning experience. So I gotta learn to do this because if I'm at a bar and some beefy, robust man touches or sexually harasses Daisy, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. Maybe that might happen to me because maybe he's just bigger than me, but you know, I'm going down with the fight. It's your turn to hop in there. Did you wanna say something? Yeah. yeah I'm a black belt too and I was, I was hustling him. fun. Alright guys, just finished up at lunch and now we are at our PT session with one of my teammates, Morgan, who's also my PT. The great thing about her is she actually is a weightlifter, so she's really good at this shit. So, let's show you guys what's up inside. What's up guys? So, we're here at PT. This is Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Nice to meet you. She's my <laughs> PT, obviously, and also my teammate. And like I said, she also does Olympic weightlifting. So, that's one of the great things about working with her. She knows what's going on with my body because she does it firsthand. She's just not like some old dude that's like, don't use your back. Um, I'm gonna have Morgan kind of explain what we're gonna do doing today and kind of what like a normal appointment with her looks like. I do needling on him a lot. He responds very well to needling. He's had some teller and quad tendonitis, so needling quads. Um, he doesn't always like it, but he knows it works, so we do it. Um, it also just depends on 
day what he's feeling. Like if he's having a week where his back is flaring up or his knees or hip, shoulder, whatever it is, elbow, then we'll focus a little bit more on that. But one of the big things that we focus on is just like positioning and mobility and making sure that he can, he, is he engaging correctly? Is he, um, is his pelvis in the right position? Wh whatever I'm seeing and analyzing his lifts, like whatever I'm seeing that needs to change, that's what we're gonna be working on. Something that's cool too is before she became a PT, she kind of helped out at the older clinic with when I had that elbow injury, my first elbow injury. She was a student, she kind of helped me through that. And when she graduated, I hurt my back again. And that was like the first time she really fully did everything by herself, right? Yeah, she's a full-time PT now, so obviously it worked, I'm healthy, so. Wow, that was a flawless entry. Wow, that's a great entry as well. It's just the oh, it's just the anticipation of it. It's not that I can feel how deep it's going, but I can feel like if I'm in the muscle belly, I can feel when it like hits the fascia. I can feel when it hits the bone. Yes. Don't even talk. Yes. I, hate that. <laughs> I hate thinking about that. It touches the bone. It, there are sometimes when you needle, you want to feel the bone because it's safe. When you needle the spine, you want to feel the bone because it means you're in the right spot. When you needle the infraspinatus, I want to feel the bone because it means I'm not hitting their lungs. There are times where it's considered safe, so you want to you want to hit the bone. Yeah, I figured like the less I know about it, the better, honestly. So I really don't like putting cups on and just like letting them sit there. I always want to have patient will move and I'll have them do a movement to help the fascia and everything, or they will stay still and I will move the cup. So right now I'm having him move with the cup and then when I take them off, I will move the cups around to get more of the like myofascial decompression. The reason why I'm having him do this is that a lot of lifters will maybe be capable of getting into the bottom position, but they're not actively engaged in the bottom position. They're just kind of like hanging out on their passive stabilizers. So I want him to learn how to be in the bottom position while maintaining core stability through not just his core, but like pelvic stability from his hamstrings and his glutes and maintaining that stability. That's why you'll see a lot of people have like coming out of a squat, coming out of a clean, they do the little like bounce, which is fine, but you wanna make sure that you're capable of maintaining some stability through there and not just bouncing out of everything everything like anterior tib pulling your tibia forward yeah. feel that engaged Instead to maintaining yeah. like when you're here you should feel your anterior tib on like and holding you here otherwise you're just gonna yeah. So yeah guys, that's what a typical session looks like here. You come in, get worked on for a little bit, then she shows me either new exercises or we just run through some previous ones to make sure I'm doing them correctly. And then I go and translate those into my warmups throughout the entire week. And yeah, it's been a pretty good system so far. We're gonna keep it up leading into nationals. All right guys, that was uh, physical therapy as you saw. Now we're headed on to our final little main event of recovery day. Something that I haven't done in a very long time just because the season hasn't been right. But now we're about to do it. So I'm pretty excited. All right guys, we are here for our final little recovery event of the day. I'm pretty excited because I haven't been able to do this since last summer. I kind of have been because I could get into the pool when it's cold, but I just wasn't willing to spend the money on the ice when the pool's already cold. But now we're back in summer, the pool's not cold enough, and it's time to do fucking ice bath. Yeah, and then we're going in between like intervals. We're gonna jump in the hot tub as well, so we get a nice contrast therapy. I don't really know the science behind it, and I don't really know how much it benefits you but I would assume the hot tub expands your blood vessels the ice bath constricts your blood vessels so I would assume it's like nice little flush through and since we got all that work done on us we, we need to flush the body during summer especially leading up to nationals I'm gonna be incorporating this probably once a week let's get cracking oh, shit.
<laughs> Guys, even if the science, like, I even though there's been more studies done on it that's like actually doesn't make a huge difference. I think it makes more of a difference pre-training than after training, but this is an off day, so I don't really train at all, so I don't care. If anything, it is a great way to test your mental strength and your mental ability to like stay calm under stress. And I've heard a lot of people say like, that's one of the great benefits out of it too. For the time we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing five minutes in the ice bath, three minutes in the hot tub, five minutes in the ice bath, three minutes in the hot tub, then finish on five minutes in the ice bath. There's really no uh, rhyme or reason to it. We just thought that would be sufficient. So that's what we're gonna go with. Dude, oh wait. I think I just missed that clip. I gotta go pee though, so I'll catch back up with you in, All right. in a few we'll minutes. See you in a little bit. All right. How you doing, champ? Bad. First minute and a half, two minutes is really gonna suck. It's the hardest part. Once you get past that, kind of, I think I'm reaching the peak. Of, what do you think you're at, Nate? I think I have three minutes left. I think I'm at the peak of discomfort right now. But once you get past this, you just don't listen to that voice in your head. Yeah. And then you just, you just, I guess you just sit here. I mean, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else you're gonna do. Time is out. It's time for the Oh! I'm scared. Thanks a lot. This is so warm and comfortable, bro. I'm just so comfortable <laughs> right now. Shut up. Oh, I'm just loud. Oh. <laughs> First like minute and a half, two minutes was the worst. <laughs> Get all the way. Hurry. Oh, there you go. Oh go. Go <laughs> Is it that bad, bro? Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Breathe through your nose, slow your breath. And don't talk or laugh. <coughs> Yo, stop the shivering, which makes it better. What's shivering, bro? <laughs> I'm trying to start laughing. In the no, I don't. Watch as the shivers disappear. See, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm gonna go enjoy the hot tub before I have to get out so quickly. How you feeling? Pretty good. Oh, I'm glad I put myself through that. Great recovery day, everyone. There's only one way to finish it off. Yeah. It's taking forever to get the other SD card. I'm gonna get in real quick. Hey, you went without me? Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> done. All I done, buddy. Get her cold. Shits, but <laughs> they taste great.